Hello there YouTube, it's me More Street America and in this video I'll be talking about S class abilities. This video is going to be similar to the SAF video that I made. This is going to talk about how to unlock them, why they are useful, what you can get out of them, why you want to actually get these S class abilities, and etc etc. This does not explain how you can use them in your fixing formula. That is for the Fixing 101 playlist and also a different video so check that in the upper right hand corner or in the description. S class abilities were introduced somewhere around the end of episode 4 and the beginning of episode 5. You can think of an S class ability as a potential because when it comes to these S class abilities they give you very handy perks depending on what you decide to choose. There are a lot of S class abilities to choose from so I'm going to have a link in the description that takes you to where you can find them and how you can find them and all that. So I'm going to talk about it a bit more and showcase my katana that I made from way back then in 2019 when I was getting back into the game. This 15 star in particular is able to hold 4 S class abilities. When it comes to these abilities, just know that not all weapons and units can support an S class ability. You're going to have to figure out how to do that. I already talked about it in my videos on how to read your weapons and units. Check that out. When I chose these S class abilities, I just chose whatever. I didn't really think about it. I chose something that would at least boost me in a certain way. When it comes to most of these abilities, they will boost me in terms of PP recovery or just me getting some HP back. You do need to read some of the abilities though just to make sure that you fulfill its criteria. For example, S2 and 3, the ones that I have, Ambiguous Radiance and Ambiguous Reduction, this only works if I have the right S1 ability. For example, for this S2 Ambiguous Radiance, it says while Green Leaf Flash, Yellow Moon Flash, or Black Shadow Flash is active, boost attack PP recovery by 25%. So I have to have one of those named abilities and I do have it which is why I had those two S2 and S3 abilities because it complements the first one. Now if you're wondering what Green Leaf Flash does, it grants a barrier that cuts damage you take by 8% and prevents flinching or being knocked down. The barrier, barrier toggles on and off every 20 seconds. You can think of this as the Master Hunter perk or ability from the Hunter Tree. This is very useful if you're not playing as a Hunter when it comes to main or subclass. And this can give you a way to have that ability without actually getting the ring. And just by having this ability on your weapon. Now the S4 ability is pretty much like the Elder Pain Potential or the Bariari Sword Chain Sword uh, Potential which is destroys HP equal to 1% of damage dealt. Once again, you might want to check that list in the description below or that link that I placed in the description talking about the various S-Class abilities there are. You may want to try to farm a particular quest so you can do it or do whatever it tells you to do so you can get that S-Class ability. When it comes to the S-Class abilities, they can either drop in the weapon and or unit or they can drop as a certain item which then you can pop when you talk to Monica or Duty. So as you can see here on the um, in my inventory or in my storage, you'll see a bunch of 13 star weapons that I have. Now some of these 13 stars actually have a bunch of S class abilities already on them. For example, this Val Fardar, or however you pronounce it. It has an S1, 2, and 3 class ability on it and I can use this in my fixing to get it to be on my main weapon. Now the other thing I need to showcase is what the item looks like if it's not on a weapon. Sometimes you'll find it on the weapon or in our unit, but sometimes you'll find it as this thing over here. It's going to have S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7, S8, and whatever the name is. Also know that when it comes to the S class abilities, they are categorized by weapon or and or unit. S1 through 5 is pretty much for weapons. S6 through 8 is pretty much for units, but S6 is... Now this is more of a specific thing, but S... What is it? S... 6 is more towards the rear unit, S7 is more towards the arm, and S8 is more towards the leg. With that being said, once you find these abilities or get them as a drop, you can technically sell these things, especially if it's on a weapon or in a unit or it's in this special form. But as you can see, this particular S8 ability is goddamn expensive because it's in the uh, 9 digits and it can't even go to the 10 digits if the price goes that high. Yeah, you can actually make a lot if you just get these as class abilities. It depends on what it is and it depends on what it, uh, it offers and it also depends on the buyer. 
When it comes to transferring your abilities, there's a couple ways about it, and I will mention this once again when it comes to my Fixing 101. However, let's just keep it simple for now and say you only got this or you only have a weapon. So, if you have the pop item, you will have to talk to Monica or Dudu, and you have to go to them and click on the Add Abilities. When you select your main ability or the main weapon or unit you want to toy around with, you get to see that... Uh, let's actually go with something that's lower. Let's go with this and you get to choose a bunch of stuff. There's going to be an option that pops up and as it says, do you want to use this support item? And this will show you the S ability that you have on you. I'm not going to actually select that, so I'm going to say don't use anything. And then it's going to go to here. Now, once again, I'm using the gun sash as a demonstration purpose, but as you can see, there's other options as well because I selected another item that also has a bunch of S class ability so I can fix it as it is and I can do that and all blah 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 and here's the thing about S class abilities they are transferable and they are always at 100% even if you have so that concludes my video talking about S class abilities once again this doesn't go into details of how you can use them in your fixes but this should hint at how you can go about using this S class ability if not, then I'll explain it in that video. If you got any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. I am trying to wrap up my fixing tutorial videos for this week. So you get to see a bunch more videos when it comes to these things. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video gives you an insight to why you want to go for S-Class abilities compared to actual abilities like an SAF or a special ability or something. Once again, if you need any help, let me know in the comments. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!